computer we can. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Just yeah. 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 And then you can turn on TVs too. There you go. Mm -hmm. It paused on its recording there somehow. Yeah, no, Michael, we haven't talked about like the details like we are now yeah. um, in our prior meetings. We were really more like systemic, like how do we approach it? What's the next steps to move it forward? That type of stuff. So this is really the first conversation where we've gotten into any of the weeds. That's right. We kind of looked at the broad picture, not who's going to pay for this. What's the mechanism to deal with the town on suggestions or recommendations? I think that would be us prioritizing, you know, yeah. prioritizing things through the, uh, you know, dealing with other town code enforcement officer, you know, sometimes public works on roads. It, it could be. Uh, this initially gets us in there is giving us purview to start moving on it, yeah. and then take direction as we go. GIS has been on the board for a long time that needed to be done and wanted to be done and the need was that we had to show where initially they wanted to, to have it they could put the tax maps on that GIS you know who owned it where they are so they get that parts of land change so they it was 10 acres and then they cut five or six down to make a field or other things you you need see it, yeah. you might not get that on a uh, Building permit, yeah. they might just get that. Yeah. So it just gives us some oversight, you know, historically track things. Mm -hmm. Do we have digitized photos of the the shorefront and the lakes? Did they do your? Did they do same and draft? Did they do that? No, nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, like, nothing okay. I'm aware of. Okay, I think that's on line with TEP. Okay. When you go to lakes, it shows you there's an icon for photos, and basically the photos are somebody mapped the shorelines. It's on EP's website. I'll because I I've come across it a few times and forget exactly how to get to it, but I know it exists. I mean, the reason I ask is I was talking with uh, Whitney, Dr. Whitney King, there from Colby, okay. and. Um, he said that they digitized Meselansky. And I was like, really? Like, we did the Lake Association didn't know. Yeah. You know, so yeah, well, I'm wondering if some, that doesn't help us with yeah. the lands part. I get it. I was just curious if, if anybody knew that was. I was not aware of they did it to our lake, but perhaps they did. That's always comes up during lakes, you know, BLA meetings and other you know, the Lake Association, just getting a handle on changes in the shorefront. You know, through construction, pre cutting, and seeing how it was year, 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 we can see what could be violations that could be found. Yeah, new sheds that just show up on the waterfront and yeah, stuff so like that. Yeah. Big open views that never were there. <laughs> the gaps. You see them all the time. Too. Yeah, you just do see them. <laughs> you know. um, just to keep the conversation going, I had another question. Yeah. You talked about Katie Cog. Yeah. And I know that they have a new person now. And the name is escaping me. I apologize. Um they can help fund that yeah. also, correct? Kind of at Valley Council of Governments. They're an avenue to funding for those types of projects. Yeah. I it just I'm thinking back that there there was some cost sharing. Yeah. Like we never really got into it more it was what they could do. What's the process mm -hmm. and, and what we could expect and in different layers of work, you know, one being just the GIS, one making it digitized by the tax map. So yeah. Each the deeper you go, the more expensive, the more difficulty, but the more information you get. Yeah. So that yeah. could be like Belgrade is a member of KD Cog, yeah, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that, okay. that, that could be just to begin a conversation again with them. Wouldn't cost us anything. We could find out and kind of develop things from there. Many of the things I think we'll be doing will be long range in, in, in some short range, but 
the, the expensive ones in the long run. Probably. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to budget for some of that stuff, like you're saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> With the police out of yeah. it and, and do, do all that. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> you may know uh, that the um, the town had voted in March to set aside a certain amount of money in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars of uh, general funds into a special fund if needed to um, po possibly possibly fund a, a, a public works department. Um, do you know about, you know about that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's cool. be because it, 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 so far, it, it looks like there there there's, there will be difficulty finding someone, uh, a company, an entity to um, to plow our roads after next year. We have next year is hammered down with the current uh, folks. Uh, uh, I forget them. Uh, folks up uh from from where I am. Warren, Warren. The Warren brothers who've been doing it for years, but they they let the town know that next this next year after this year. Will be their last year they're retiring from the field uh, and they don't want to do it anymore and so far the town has not been able to get anyone to bid or even bid on doing it much less agree to do it and so um it looks like we may have to establish our own public works department and were that to happen nobody wants to do it and understandably because it's not an inexpensive proposition um for all kinds of reasons but were that to happen there would be Various and for, for one reason is because you can keep these people very busy at certain times of year, but other times of year you have to find things for them to do. And that ah, like build trails, right? Right, uh -huh. right. That's so, a great idea. Yeah. So my um, the point I'm trying to make is that it's some projects that a comprehensive, uh, not a um, conservation committee might come up with. There could be some excess labor in the town looking for projects to do. So. Yeah. Should that should that come come yeah. to pass? Yeah. It's not certain that it will by any means, but it might. It might come out of necessity. If we can't right. find anybody to blow the roads, <laughs> we might have to hire our own people. Yes, right. And then you we might have vehicles to, yes. and all that. Oh my gosh! It's yeah, quite up. Make it that. Yeah, I was at the the, the, uh, the town meeting. That was quite a scary thing. That, you know, Jack Sutton stood up and says, "You know, you've got to do something. <laughs> we're going to have." No one to follow the roads. Yeah, that's then, a problem. I mean, when Jack, when if, I don't know if you know Jack Sutton, yes. but when Jack stands up and says, "We we actually have to ex think about expanding town government," you, you know it's a pretty serious situation. Wow. He does yeah. yeah, so that was, yeah. you know, he's it was like wow. That, that, it's hard to imagine that you go out, there's no one to follow the roads, and we're all sitting there. It's a changing world. Yeah, it's fast. So yeah. that. I mean, well, maybe we should just message that we should all stay home. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and it snows and the roads are covered with snow and just don't go anywhere. Wait. So, do you think that we need anything else? I mean, I'm in Florida. Like yeah. that's meetings happening. I said, I'd already told you that. Oh, um, well, no, you're not. You've got to be right I here. could zoom in probably. Um, but Far I'm moving my parents. So, I, so uh, there. yeah, right. Um, that weekend, the, just those four days that during that week I'll be down there. But I'll probably zoom into the meeting to yeah. be supportive. Any other thoughts, you know, items we should present to the select board on this? Well, uh, they, they're going to they're going to have the two letters of recommendation. You know, one from the comp plan, and one one our in our our letter yeah. we're recommending it. Uh, the cut from the the, the uh, committee that's the comprehensive review. Yes. Uh, will there be people from that committee here or? I'll come. Yeah. I'll come. Okay. Yeah. Kimberly's Kimberly's coming. You know, Kimberly's coming. Also. Feel free to speak up and their support. So, so Pat, do you think, in addition to those two letters, that there should be like a a brief description of what? The comprehensive plan had in mind for this, just like bullet yeah. points of what you just read earlier. Yeah, that's what I I kind of thought. Just maybe yeah. just copy and paste it. You know what I mean? I yeah. it yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, just to say this this was voted in good. ten years ago, eight years ago, and right. And these are very specific yeah. lines. So it's very nice to have that. I, 
I'll circulate that. I'll take these and what 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 the uh, well, what Kimberly did. Well, what uh, I I would make a suggestion. Well, and that is, you know, we perhaps to look at some other towns yeah. that are comprehensive that have comprehensive uh, that have uh, conservation committees. Um, and see if you can find the bylaws for, uh, of those their committees um, and possibly try and put together some, um, you know, some by, you know, potential bylaws for our committee, maybe combining what other towns have with the bylaws we have for the Lakes Committee and present uh, Possible bylaws because if, if in fact the um, select board is going to vote yay or nay, they would I would they also actually have to have a set of bylaws in front of them. They or they they could say yes and we like the idea. Come back to the bylaws. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, I, I have here. I have looked at a lot of them in Maine. Yeah. So I the town of Cumberland has a particularly one that matches kind of what we want to say. I'll just read it for you and I'll can email it out. This is their, they call it their Lands and Conservation Commission. Uh, but it's a commission, not a committee. Right, we're going to be a committee. Yeah. Committee, commission has a different, a different legal. Right, standard. yeah, right. Yeah. Same, you have to go to the town to establish a commission, a committee, a commission, excuse me. The town has to establish, not the select board. Yeah, but what, what, what they've written would, would uh, dovetail what we plan to do. I'll just read you a few of them. Okay. The commission will promote the conservation of natural resources and encourage the conservation of water, land, and open space and vistas within the town and will develop educational programs to achieve greater public awareness of the importance and need of a conservation within the town. The commission will develop and recommend to the town council programs and policies to implement conservation and recreation related goals and objectives of the town's comprehensive plan. The commission will develop programs to achieve uh, greater public awareness of the importance and need for conservation of our natural resources and land within the town for open space and recreational purposes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that, I don't know, that, and that's, that gives, that's, that's really very different than what we've been doing as a lakes committee, thinking about the water side of things. Right. Um, so is that, does that fit really well with what the, the comprehensive plans have been envisioned, you think? The, the comprehensive plans, Broke it down really into natural resources. So you have different chapters, maybe 10 chapters in the comprehensive plan. And the natural resources is where they put this one. And they have fairly detailed explanations what that is in the comprehensive plan, especially the, the 2013 one. Yeah. So, what, so can you explain what that envisions for this committee? I mean, or is, is, what, is, what does it say? If you go back into these, uh, because what you read from whatever town that was, yeah, it made it seem very much like a uh, uh, an educational. There's a there's three different layers of educational components in that one paragraph, really, and I think we could sum it up into one. Yeah, and um, remember we talked about remember when we all got together as a town at the at the center yeah. and talked um, sort of as a community about things. I, th I see us doing that more so than yeah. creating rec programs. We have a rec Yeah, we, we, we don't need that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We collaborate with them, but it, just in the, the natural resources section of the uh, most recent uh, plan, it says finding one, the natural assets of a town begin with a backbone of land. The capability of land to support environmental assets as well as development is an important factor in planning. That's kind of a vision statement on that. 
and the inspection. And it goes into other findings of the fact finding. Belgrade residents have a strong commitment to preserving the natural environment and have a history of doing so. And they go into data that backs that up. Recent votes, you know, opinion surveys that are part of the comprehensive planning process that in highly land conservation and use. Uh, it says one of the most prominent recommendations of the 1998 plan was to form a conservation committee. The, the conservation committee would take the lead on resource protection strategies, including lake issues and open space protection. That's what the plan is. Mm -hmm. So it's not only open space protection as far as not lake. It's, right. it's really protecting probably the forest, too. It's probably protecting everything uh, environmentally yeah. to keep everything in balance. Right, because most most people have studied lake water quality and uh, I'll come back to one thing. If you have a good forest around you, it keeps the dirt out of the lake or out of the streams or other tributaries, it's going to uh, keep the phosphorus out to a great extent. If you don't, you're not going to have as good a water quality just based on that alone. That, that seems to fit pretty well. Right, so for what we want to do, it's yeah. insane. Did you notice? Yeah, I'm sure you did, because we both looked at this yeah. same Cumberland one before. We did some research early on to look at what other towns were doing. The way they broke down, like they have their board, right, and then yeah. it looks like there's committees or clusters under their commission that touch on sustainability, farmland, invasives, forestry, and trails. Those are their obviously their priorities for their commission, um, and it's the same people. The board members are the same. There's a couple extra names on there, but you know how it is, the 90-10 rule, right? Um, but we, down the road, maybe this com this uh, committee winds up doing that, you know, where we look at, yeah. a group of us look at trails and we pluck volunteers from the community to get engaged or, or whatever, you know what I mean, whatever those are. And I could see us kind of laying it out similarly, similarly, even though we're a committee, not a commission. Yeah. Right. I, like I don't think we should be too specific. I don't think we want to pigeonhole ourselves at all. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are broad, and anything we do is going to have to go before the get approved by the you know, select board and others. So it just gives you, we can't anticipate everything we're going to do today. And trails, you include like to new kayak trails, right? Yeah. Access points and Mm -hmm. We're doing it right now, and <clears throat> excuse me, not to digress, but in the Rangeley Lakes area, they're gearing up three years from now to hold this massive uh, canoe race trail situation, and they're setting that all up right now. And it's really interesting to listen to like the biologists and the townspeople and their committees talk about how they're creating all of this canoe trail. You know, yeah. That's really neat, like addition to the region's infrastructure. You know, they're building where the portages are going to be and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they're going to do it for this race, which will be a yearly or event, which will be yearly, but then it's available to the community all year round. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's kind of that win win. Yeah. 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 I'm kind of jazzed up about that concept around here. Yeah. Oh, that would be. I know. That would be good. Uh, I well, something that came out of, you know, we had a, you know, the Seven Lakes in the town did it last April, did a public hearing on the lake's water quality, and, you know, participated. And one of the takeaways that, you know, came out of that was how few Belgrade residents own or really have direct access to the lake. Mm -hmm. it's a, most of it is owned by out-of-staters, non-residents. So they don't, it's in, it was deemed that was critical that we get the local citizens involved in this, not only protect the lakes, but the land and have that and get them. We can see how hard it is to get committee members to be able to stay. Yeah. You know, and we need more people to be involved and we have to open it up so they can see this and benefit. Yeah, well, I think we'll go slow, but if we have the right approach, you know, uh, Especially when we have the land with it, as people like the snowmobile, hike, hunt, nature walks, you name it. 
it's a much broader thing and and and, and what you brought out was dealing with the major landowner kind of gets not feeling that we're gonna impose something on them, but right, it, right. We want something inclusive and, and, and just without any plans, but just hey with and that could be one of the yeah, of this committee is yeah. really like an outreach. You know, what I mean, it doesn't always it doesn't all have to come you know one way. Yeah, we can do outreach to people and um, maybe help get out of some of their concerns. You know, resource to a resource, yeah. <laughs> just like this comprehensive plan was developed was by outreach to the you know questionnaires were sent to the town residents. They had input. They had meetings. Uh, and they, you know, kind of broke it down into, you know, what, what, you know, what the people really value, and had numbers behind those values. You know, this percent said they, this was the most important thing to have clean water and air and in forests. So, so it's, a, I, I think it'll be a steady but kind of slow process, and some things will pop up that click. Yeah. And but if, if we won't have it unless we form this new committee, yeah. as, as long as you have what you need, whoever's presenting, yeah, um, I think we're in good shape. You know, do you, you think we should need to write a little more of a script? The idea of the handout, like you were saying, it's like a, a just, little one sheeter. You yeah, know? just yeah. reminding them that this is not just something we came up with. This yeah. is something that has been suggested in 2014 yeah. and was voted on. So it's and 90, 99 as well. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it 99? Yeah. Yeah. We so, just, yeah. yeah, I would just do something with the bullet points of what the comprehensive plan suggested for this. And this was to be implemented by vote. Yeah. And here is our opportunity to do it. And I don't really see any negative about yeah. it. I don't see how anybody. Yeah, and, and, and also, I would also point out, and going along with what you said, that, and this is now is the time I assume that there's going to be a new comprehensive plan getting underway. Uh, is, is that not correct? Well, I think a lot of the comprehensive plan has come. Uh, a long way in yeah. implementation, but there are things that have not been touched on yeah. at all. But I mean, the state, the, the state require the state requirement is a new comprehensive plan every ten years. Um, I, I, I heard, you know, I, I talked to uh, Anthony Wilson, and he had done some research because he he's uh, interested in becoming on the uh, comprehensive plan implementation committee. Yeah. It's now twelve years. Twelve years. So he's, okay, he's looking into that with. Maybe this association well, that would give us more time to, yeah, okay. Well, well, but if yeah. there is a requirement, but, but there is a requirement, so so then it would be, be required to be done by 26. So yeah. the, the time to get started, of course, is now. Yeah. So my, my point only is only that if, if, if they don't agree to this, they can be pretty certain that the comprehensive plan that's going to be finished in a few years is going to recommend it again and yeah. it's going to. Yeah, I'm going to say what the hell is going on here? Yeah, yeah we can check those boxes off. Yeah. Had Especially yeah. since you had a committee that said they wanted to do it and you turned them down. Right. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, I think it'll be met with favorably. I think yeah. yeah, right. So I mean that'd be worth pointing out. Right. It's all right in right in here. Yeah. Right in here. And there's uh and there's a comprehensive plan that's going to be getting underway soon. So and if there's stuff we have to tighten up. You can do we it. tighten it up and we just go back, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Right. Yeah. right. Hear the feedback, come back, and we may say, well, give us a little more how you're going to do it, what's it going to look like, um, there's any budget concerns with this, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Probably the person on the slide board who actually will likely have the most or at least the word that's probably not appropriate, but the, the most intelligent kind of input and feedback would be Peter Rushton, who's, right. who has been on the planning board and in fact, the uh, chair of the planning board for the last decade. Yeah. Uh, and he probably has some ideas that we, we never even occur to us. Right, he's, 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 he's running a GIS program. Yes, right, so, so he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, 
you're going to be good uh, yeah. guiding us. GIS program, what's that? The, all this, you know, GIS. GIS. Oh, the mapping, GIS. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 right. And a lot of you know, information systems. Many right. years on the, uh, the chair of the planning board. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. Great resource. Yeah. yeah. Very good resource. Yeah, so he's the old, yeah. I think we're in good shape. Um, I'm happy to help. Maybe others too. Would if you want to do you a want, sheet, you want to share the wrap. Do a quick sheet, take it around. I just don't have that. Well, I was thinking. I, I was thinking just I'll make a Google sheet that yeah. we can make one. You know what I mean? Beam make it around one, really. Make, make sure we're not it. missing anything. But you have the you have the majority of the data electronically, right? So yeah. we may have to start at this time because <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't have the spreadsheets and stuff. We can just copy and paste. Yeah, that'd be great. I'll send them out to everybody. Okay. Yeah, the highlighted great. parts here and here, and we can kind of tweak it. Yeah. You know, I think D, you're right. Just a just simple, you know, yeah. 10, 10 points or something, eight, six, some bullets. Bullets. As, as mentioned in the conference. Right. So they can kind of logically follow down through and, and see what needs to be done. Okay, that's good. Mike Barrett, you have any? We're glad to see you here. Steve, how are you doing, Mike? Doing hey. Mavi Peachy. Oh, yeah. good. Good to hear you. Hear you say that, I mean. Yep. I can't walk. I can't walk right yet, but soon. Okay, yeah. good. So, so, Mike, did you hear what what we're considering is putting together maybe a, a one-page sheet with bullet points, you know, showing the history of the comprehensive plans, uh, requirement that they we form this committee what it could do in a broad sense and we're gonna I'm gonna send it around we'll circulate it and we'll try to get that sheet together so we can hand it to the select board at the meeting so they can really follow through with it and hopefully answer some questions and where we're going we can take it from there. Hopefully they'll read it. Hopefully they'll read it. Right that's why we're keeping like a just Bullet points. So Bring they, copies. No, no paragraph. <laughs> Bring some copies. Yeah. Get into yeah. there too. Yeah. Use a big font. Use a big font. Yeah. <laughs> and what I would do is, I'm, I told every, I'll, I'll send out what I have from the uh, 213 comprehensive plan that address those, um, the uh, formation of a conservation committee, and. Uh, you want to see the Cumberland one? I have it. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we can just go with what we have in the town and it, they kind of know they own it. Yeah. Well, your handout address mostly addressed comprehensive plan issues. Yeah. What we're going to talk about like it. Well, why, why is it coming from us instead of the comprehensive um, group, a comprehensive plan group? Uh, well, we'll be there too. They're, they're, they're they've been participating for the last two months on this. And, and having input, but the, the the comprehensive plan asked for a conservation committee, and the uh, comprehensive plan implementation committee is not the committee to they review the plan. The, the, the logical committee would be us, the lakes committee, changing into the yeah. adding the additional mission of the. Uh, Conservation committee. Okay. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, Michael. But in the end, it has to come from somebody. You know what I mean? So we just kind of figured it fit. So we just took the directive and tried to bring everybody in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It makes sense, I guess. Yeah, and we're gonna. Of course, we're gonna ask for a double in salary as a result. Right. Yeah. Write that in there. More money. Why, why stop there? Yeah. Why stop there? Why not go for you know a hundred thousand a piece? <laughs> Anything else today? I just want to mention that it just makes sense rather than starting a brand new committee, a conservation committee, and then having the lakes committee yeah. to have it together because. Everything yeah. affects each other, and it should be one committee. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It gets rid of duplication. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which just makes confusion. 
Yes. Frank, frankly, I thought that's the way it was going to work. The Lakes Committee would be melded into the, the new committee, be part of the new committee. Sure. Doesn't you're absolutely right? Uh, you know, uh, D, you don't need two committees to do the same uh, job. Oh, we have weighed in on the Lakes Committee has weighed in on land issues from the solar farm, and we put together the uh, the uh, April meeting with you know Seven Lakes and the town and all the lake associations. A lot of that was land issues because it always is with water. You know what what happens on the land is going to largely dictate what the water is going to be, whether it's environmental issues, quality of life issues, you name it. It's all tied together. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get your phosphorus gauges out right now, right? And your streams and stuff. Collect collect your samples. Well, uh, question, uh, question. I, I, I just, I just uh, delivered a bunch of sample tubes to someone to do some sampling on the uh, mainstream that comes into Santa Lake. Awesome. Yeah. Mike, did you have something else? I heard you. I was going to say a question I might anticipate from them, from somebody anyway, probably the, the board, is it sounds like you guys are going to be duplicating the effort of, of other committees, such as the planning board, such as uh, the, the code enforcement officer, such as. Uh, I don't think that's our intent, but how would you answer that question or answer that comment? Well, we this committee is not going to have any. Uh, uh, the planning board is reviewing the specific, generally specific plans. They've got a. A, a really defined job and what their scope is. Uh, we're, we're not doing that. We're we're looking at things more from a macro level, you know, rather than plan level. You know, someone wants to do an addition, someone wants to do a real estate development. That that's all covered in the code already. The regulations for that, the steps with the CEO, the planning board, review, public hearings, and if not. So that's, you know, uh, we won't be stepping into that kind of water. So we'll be a advisory committee to the select board as we are in the lakes. We're not. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, no, but... and to give them, you know, heads up or, or point out things that in situations that we could, that could be uh, looked at, whether it's, you name it, you know, it's, but we don't have any we don't have any general day-to-day -day or month to month activities we have to do like the planning board does. I think if we present ourselves as advisory, number one, advisory and coordinating a yeah. coordinating function yeah. is the way you go. That way we're not <clears throat> we might be involved in some of the things these other committees are involved in, but we're not taking it over. We're not no. it's not a big land, not a grab, you know, for that's what I'm afraid. I don't want them to think that we're looking to grab the power. Yeah, we are definitely not. Yeah. Are we in court on that? <laughs> yeah. Please, please. <laughs> no, no, I, if you don't want to give the appearance, that's the thing. Yeah, no doubt. But no. Like, well, um, and then the outreach part, right? Yeah. We wanted to try to continue to work on, on on the town reaching out to the town's people too, which kind of separates us from other committees too, right? Yeah. So because a lot of that is incoming data. And incoming info to, for the town, we're trying to bring it out so we can use that maybe to differentiate. Right, because we we have to go. By the way, they have no. a lot of work. Oh, <laughs> oh you have a key. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll leave by five. Okay. <laughs> I just looked up. I'm like, oh. no, that's a, that's a good point, Mike. Because we're we're not coming here asking to run anything or or, uh, but we're more. You know, I think the advisory coordinating. In broad, broad strokes, and they they've already the select board has reached us out to us in several things, especially you know the need for the additional swimming areas and so forth in North Belgrade. And that's kind of a land issue, you know, even in recreation. So we may get other things they want us to look at. Well, we can look at that. We can look at all we want to, but they have to come up with some money to buy some. Yeah, and um, so we got to get creative. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a blank check for that. You know, what well, I mean? you, get, you get creative. Well, if, if, 
three or four hundred thousand dollars and get nice and creative. It's pretty hard to get creative with a fundraiser. That. Fundraiser or major donors. Yeah, you know, donors. If you probably won't be much by the taxpayers. I don't think so. <laughs> Need a memorial gift yeah. of land on the lake. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, recapping, I'll send out some notes on these on the uh, the one the two thirteen plan does regarding natural resources. Is some that we can besides it and get half a dozen bullet points on that, and that'll be our okay. along with what we've already presented to them, so that they've got you know the the better we are committee presented in the, in the uh, content review committee's endorsement. And we'll just take it from there. I'll right. get this up in a couple of days. We'll get a copy everybody here. You know, I'd like you to wait in the time to see how you, you think of it too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Us, it, it, it'd be interesting if, if we could know here. In the last three years, what's happened to building permits? Have they really increased times? Is it a trend? Um, the town report, I believe, 21 may have indicated how many permits for plumbing and building. And I know I did it last year, but I, I really, I don't know. There's, right. The records, I don't have the history of yeah. total accumulated unless it was in the town reports and the CEO report. That would be good information to know, wouldn't it? Yes. Um, we'll have to look at that. So I know we've got copies of the old town reports, or us. Yeah, we just had like three years. Yeah. Now we're no, we need some data. Get some data. To yeah. Data. I seem to remember it was very low numbers of new construction in five years ago. So, mm -hmm. It was always, you know. Well, the, the reality is that as, as climate change progresses over the decades, I think we're going to see more and more of our fellow countrymen moving north and, yeah. and northeast. Mm -hmm. And so it seems inevitable that there's going to be it's kind of increase in population in places like Belgrade uh, as the decades go on. So. Certainly, this, this seems like a fortuitous time to now the time to be like this. Yeah. Yeah. especially with the ability for remote work, yeah. which yeah. really pushed when the pandemic happened, and they're realizing that they can still mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, and, uh, yep. and taking advantage no of doubt. that. I can't blame people for wanting to do it. Maybe when you go on vacation on that last day, and you're like, Oh, I wish we could stay. Yeah, well, now you can't. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. people are. So yeah, you can go you know, all over the state. Yeah. 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 It's, yes. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. My, my, my daughter, I won't give the, the details. My daughter is just up for the week. She lives in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, or not just outside Raleigh, North Carolina, and works uh, in, in HR, human resources for University of North Carolina Medical School complex. No, it's not just the medical school, but the whole medical complex there. And uh, and she brought her computers with her, and she's working online. Uh, she's here for the week. Yeah, I yeah. call it a visit, a work visit, yeah. a work visit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're, my wife and I are flying back from Florida on our vacation in February. So there was a younger couple kind of next to us with a child, maybe in the thirties, and they were both worked for New York Times, and you know. On the computer stuff, or you know, yeah. and they were living in Rock, they just moved up. And they, wow. they said, They like, we want to live up here, we don't have to live in we were the great New York City, or and they just, yeah, and then it, it, it's really, uh, what did they do for the times? They, I think he, he was more of a uh, data guy. Oh, okay, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, more like. Not reporters, but yeah, yep. systems. You know, systems. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people that work for those big newspapers and do stuff that doesn't have anything to do with being in print. <laughs> no, they, 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 yeah. were, they weren't yeah. reporters or, or any of the media. They were yeah. keeping those things running. Yeah, yeah. you're right. We have good, we have good enough Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, good enough cable here yeah. Uh, that yeah, we can do almost almost anything here. Yeah. You too. Yeah. At the governor's conference on tourism last week. Uh, she she said, and I don't remember the exact stats, but we were in like seventh 
or eighth in the nation for population growth during COVID mm. and then post pandemic, you know, with post pandemic time frame, um, mm -hmm. which is the complete opposite of you know pre pandemic. Our populations were shrinking dramatically. We don't even have enough people to work in our restaurants and stuff, right? Um, so that was kind of neat to hear the the announcement mm -hmm. of the yeah. in migration. Of People. Yeah. Now we just need the right ones. Right now you need people working work at restaurants. Right. <laughs> sure. Young, well, like, young, people, young right there on their computers. Young families with teenagers. He and I are in the real estate business. So. I've never seen anything like it. I've been with 30 years. Yeah. If you have like a, a house in Brea Belgrade or you know, Central Maine on the between 300 and 400 and bang. Yeah. yeah. There's gone. lists of people lining up to yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They're not, they're not all maintenance of mm -hmm. this society. Because <laughs> we don't have that population that was already here to right. you new know, people. It's phenomenal. They really need to see what you try to believe. And they need new houses. Yeah. Yeah. There's a housing crisis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it absolutely is. Well, Mike, we're going to sign off. Thank you, Kimberly. Yeah. Anything more? See you, next, see you next time. Thank, Thank you very much. Happy Easter. Bye.